sort of sit those first few weeks and try to get back in the flow in the middle of the year? Yeah, it's been different, obviously. I didn't have all of fall camp to pump behind a shield and do live reps and stuff, so it's kind of been different, trying to get back in the transition of things. Felt pretty good these first couple games, had a couple bad punts here and there, obviously dropped the snap. Just kind of like little little mistakes that should have been made, so kind of you know focus on those during the week and try to get those cleaned up. You've been punting for so long that what's your routine when you drop a snap? How do you kind of make block that out of your head? Uh, that's the first snap I've dropped since Pittsburgh. I haven't dropped one in practice since then. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't know what went through my head. I don't know if I took my eyes off the ball. I tried to watch the film. Couldn't really get a good good look at it. Watched the TV copy. I don't. I really don't know what happened. Just just messed up. Made a mistake and just had to play through it. How do you move on from something like that? Just been getting more reps. You know, more more snaps, more catches. Um, just hope it doesn't happen again. First one of the year, you really got a hold of. Is that kind of a nice pressure release for you? you yeah, know? yeah. No, it's it was. I was really nervous. Actually, that was probably the most nervous I've been besides my first year punting at Central Michigan. Honestly, I don't know what it was. I guess maybe because I missed the first three games, um, and then coming back in for Texas Tech, and then that first one, I had so much adrenaline going, I didn't really. And I had the sun in my eyes, so I couldn't even see the ball, so I didn't even know if it was good or not. So I didn't. Just kind of heard the crowd, so I was like, oh, well, I guess it was good. Good enough.